Uh, hey, y'all. I want to come on and talk about two things for the two people. Um, Sean Reed and Ar uh, was it Ahmed Aubrey. Ar Aubrey Ahmed. I forgot. I don't, I don't need to botch your brother's name. But um, it's just the time we live in. You would think that certain people would, I don't know, social distance and stay away from people, but no, they still come up with the racism. They still do it. And this is why I said this country is falling, because I, I, I don't get it. I just don't get it. How can you have such a deep hatred for people who have done nothing to you? I don't get it at all. Like, these people must eat, sleep, hatred. They must. Because I'm going to talk about the case for um, Mr. Ahmed real quick. Because this is this is why I'm a, I'm a big proponent in having guns. I'm a big proponent. I'm a big supporter of it. The Second Amendment. I love it. And unfortunately, I live in a police state. But shoot, one of these days, when I get out of the state, I'm going to have some guns. Not to hurt nobody, but to defend myself and my loved ones and my friends and those around me. Because the world is getting crazier and crazier. You don't know what could happen. And it's best to always defend yourself. That's why they always say, uh, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Because if it ain't um, two white men gunning down a brother like Mr. Mr. Ahmed, or you have shootings all over the place, it's just crazy. It's ridiculous. And the thing about this is, you know what? I wish the death penalty on them, them two people. Them two white men who did it to that brother, I wish the death penalty on them. Because they had no business doing what they did. No business. And it's it's a shame. How is it? The brother just taking a jog. Taking a jog down the street. And you get in your truck. You and your son. And go confront this man. And kill this man. Now. This is one thing. I have to say this. Because maybe, maybe I'm crazy. Y'all let me know in the comment section. Y'all let me know. Because. If I thought that someone robbed something and was doing something wrong, would you not call the police? Would you not? Maybe I'm crazy. The last time I checked, if I could see that, you know what, that person did something, you don't know what that person has on them. You don't know. Only a fool is going to run up on somebody and do all that kind of mess. Because... I promise you this. This is why I said I believe in having guns and defending yourself. Because I do believe if that brother had some guns, he probably would have had a better chance. Most definitely. And he's in, he was in Georgia. So the gun laws are probably a little lax down there. They should be. And to me, this is why, I, again, I say have guns. Support that. Any, anyone who says they're against, it, they're against the um, Second Amendment, I'm against them. Forget about it on that issue. I believe in it's the right to have guns. I honestly believe that every American citizen, everyone who has come to this country should, be, should learn to use multiple types of guns and learn by law and be required to be trained in having a firearm and defending yourself. Because I've seen more evidence to say, you know what, my stance is right than the other way around. Because I, there's another story I'm going to tell you about the reason why I say having guns. Because there was another story out of Texas. It was um, a white guy walking to a church full of other white people and starting shoot, shooting at the place. Like Dylan Roof, but on a bunch of white people. And two white guys died. Right, because what happened was he walked in, 
the first guy saw him and was, before he could draw his gun, he was shot and killed. In the meantime, the second guy also saw him and the same thing happened. He was shot and killed. But by the time the, for the third guy now, he had enough time and killed the, the, um, the offender. Now, if that man did not have his guns, how many people would have died that day? This is why I say have guns. It's especially we as black folks. Because I'm tired of I'm tired of reading stories and seeing stories about how we getting gunned down. For no reason. For no reason. Brother just jog, jogging through the neighborhood, minding his own business. Wasn't hurting a fly or hurting nobody. This is why me personally. I, I, I try to just stay around, stay away from people. Especially those of that, that group. Not saying that they're all bad, but I'm not going to risk it. Because at the end of the day, this is why I tell people, yo, I'd rather be around other black folks that think like me and be around people who have common sense. Because I, it, it, I just get so tired of seeing them stories, man. Sometimes I can't even watch. I can't watch. And it, it, this is why it, it really makes me wonder. This is why I leave certain folks alone. And it's more and more evidence to just leave them alone than keep them a distance away. Because, as you know, the story was Sean Reed. I was watching the, on YouTube about his story. And he was in the, he was in the, I think it was the, the military. He had a military. I don't know what branch. Maybe it was the Air Force. But he got out. He was in it for a year. So, by rights and serves, he served the country. And some some money on Facebook posts, oh, I'm glad he's dead. But this white guy also served in the military. So, I thought it was, they have some, some, some sort of um, code of honor, solidarity. Solidarity? I guess not. Because I don't understand this. How can you be glad that the innocent person is dead? Like, seriously. And then you so dumb, on Facebook, you have your job posted right there, too. Actually, you know, he was real smart for that because at the end of the day, I love seeing when them kind of folks lose their job. I love it. Love it. I love seeing when people be racist towards us and the next thing you hear, boom, they lost their job. Boom, blew up. Boom, they got fired. Boom, their college is all screwed up. Yeah, I love that. Love it, love it, love it. Because you know what? Maybe that's the job another black person could have. You never know. You never know. All of this man that's going around, all this coronavirus, you would think that it would open people's eyes to realize, you know what, this virus is really hurting everybody. It's not responding to. I mean, if you notice, it's really globally, it's a certain, it's affecting a certain group of people. But you would think that people would just realize, you know what, let me not go do that because I don't know if he got coronavirus. I don't want to get in a tussle with him. I don't want to get a call from, from nobody. Let me just stay away. Let me just not say nothing or wave high and bye. And that's it. And the one thing I don't get is they got a thing with um called running with Aubrey. Aubrey. What the heck is running going to do? What you running for? It ain't gonna do nothing. That's not gonna bring that brother justice or that family. It's not. What's gonna bring them justice is payback against them two white men. Three of them actually. I think it was the third one who recorded the video. That's payback. That's justice. It's gonna be justice if they get the death penalty. I hope they do. And I want them to. That's justice. And I'm just tired of seeing stories of us dying. This is why, I me mean, personally, 
I don't believe in spreading negativity. I don't. I love seeing stories about black people doing well. As a family, I don't I don't care whatever. If you're gay, a lesbian, from the continent, Jamaican, whatever. I love seeing stories about black folks doing well and promoting the black things. This is the reason why these things have led me to realize that, you know what? We really got to support ourselves first before anyone else. If we can find something within the community, we go to that person and support them. If you notice, during times like these, when we shot down, there's no other group coming to help us out. None. That's why I don't really mess with the Asian businesses at all. I'm not saying that every Asian is racist, but them as a group, yeah. Is every white folk racist? No. As a group, yeah. And that includes Hispanics. Because some Hispanics are white. Or even so, you have a lot of it's confusion because I've seen videos of even Hispanics being racist towards us. That's why I'm like, you know what? Whatever happens to y'all, happens to y'all. I don't care. Because I, honestly, I think God is just destroying this country for, for those very reasons of, of, like that. Because this country was built off, off of our backs. And I told you, I'm, my parents are from Jamaica. I'm not African American by lineage, but we're all one people. So I speak as if we're all one. That's how I, I view ourselves. We. Not this person and that group, and we, we're all one. We, and we can be different, we all gotta get along, but we, we're all one global black family. That's how I see us. So I don't wanna say that we did it as if I was, my ancestors was here, possibly some of them were here, I don't know, but I'm just saying we as one family. Because if anyone else was to see me, they say, oh, African American. So. This country was built off our backs and our blood and tears. You can't build something off of blood and soil it with blood and not think, you, not, not think you're gonna drown it. And that's what America's doing right now, it's drowning in the blood. And it's gonna get deeper. So, this is my quick little video. Y'all have a good one. Y'all stay coronavirus free. Definitely wash your hands, take a bath, um, hygiene yourself properly. Um, do, do whatever you gotta do. I hope you guys are not laid off or furloughed or on unemployment. I hope you guys are doing fine. I hope you guys have some money in the bank or you guys are still working, do whatever you gotta do to get by for you and your family. But rest in peace to those two brothers. And y'all have a good one.